Hello everyone, how are you doing tonight? Love, protect, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about consistency. Consistency in following your faith, trust, and obedience to living in God's will for your life. Only in this way can you overcome Satan and his workers in this world. You can never look back at what was or stop moving forward with God's will for your life. For if you do, you fall into Satan's snares and traps for your eternal damnation in hell. It takes absolute focus, discipline, strength beyond what man can do. Consistency in obeying God's precepts and obeying God's commands to you. Now, let's get into the scriptures concerning this. First is Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ is eternally changeless, always the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13.7. Remember your leaders, for it was they who brought you the word of God, and consider the result of their conduct, the outcome of their godly lives, and imitate their faith, their conviction that God exists and is the creator and ruler of all things the provider of eternal salvation through Christ, and imitate their reliance on God with absolute trust and confidence in His power, wisdom, and goodness. 1 Corinthians 15.44 it, it is sown a natural body, mortal, suited for earth. It is raised a spiritual body, immortal, suited to heaven. As surely as there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Proverbs 10.30 The consistently righteous will never be shaken, but the wicked will not inhabit the earth. Proverbs 12.3, a man will not be established by wickedness, but the root of the consistently righteous will not be moved. Proverbs 13.21, adversity pursues sinners, but the consistently upright will be rewarded with prosperity. Psalms 14.5, there they tremble with great fear, for God is with the consistently righteous generation. Psalms 116.5, gracious is the Lord and consistently righteous. Yes, our God is compassionate. Proverbs 12.7, the wicked are overthrown by their evil and are no more, but the house of the consistently righteous will stand securely. Proverbs 12.5 The thoughts and purposes of the consistently righteous are just, honest, reliable, but the counsels and schemes of the wicked are deceitful. Proverbs 13.25 The consistently righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite, but the stomach of the wicked is in need of bread. Psalms 31.18 Let the lying lips be mute which speak instantly, insolently and arrogantly against the consistently righteous with pride and contempt. 2 Corinthians 12.3 And I know that such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. Only God knows. 2 Corinthians 5.7 For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Proverbs 28.28 28. When the wicked rise to power, men hide themselves, but when the wicked perish, the consistently righteous increase and become great. 2 Corinthians 4.10 Always carrying around in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the resurrection life of Jesus also may be shown in our body. Psalms 119.2 Blessed and favored by God are those who keep his testimonies, and who consistently seek him and long for him with all their heart. Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of the consistently righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise captures and wins souls for God, he gathers them for eternity. James 2.12 Speak and act consistently as people who are going to be judged by the law of liberty, that moral law that frees obedient Christians from the bondage of sin. Matthew 3.8 So produce fruit that is consistent with repentance, demonstrating new behavior that proves a change of heart and a conscious decision to turn away from sin. Matthew 6.22 the eye of the lamp of the the eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is clear, spiritually perceptive, your whole body will be full of light, benefiting from God's precepts. Proverbs fifteen twenty nine. The Lord, is, the Lord is far from the wicked and distances himself from them, but he hears the prayer of the consistently righteous, that is, those with spiritual integrity and moral courage. Matthew ten twenty eight. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. But rather, be afraid of him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. 1 John 2, 7-11 Beloved, I am not writing a new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the message which you have heard from us before. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment to you, which is true and realized in Christ and in you, because the darkness of moral blindness is clearing away, and the true light of the revelation of God in Christ is already shining. The one who says he is in the light, in consistent fellowship with Christ, and yet habitually hates, works against his brother in Christ, is in the darkness until now. The one who loves and unselfishly seeks the best for his believing brother lives in the light 
and in him there is no occasion for stumbling or offense. He does not hurt the cause of Christ or lead others to sin. But the one who habitually hates works against his brother in Christ, is in spiritual darkness, and is walking in the darkness, and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. 1 Corinthians 10.17 since there is one bread, we believers who are many are united into one body, for we all partake of the one bread which represents the body in Christ. 1 John 5 8. The spirit and the water and the blood and these three are in agreement. Their testimony is perfectly consistent. James 1 5. If any of you lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he is to ask of our benevolent God who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 28. Now as to the times and dates, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know perfectly well that the day of the return of the Lord is coming, just as the thief comes unexpectedly and suddenly in the night. While they are saying, peace and safety, all is well and secure, then, in a moment, unforeseen destruction will come upon them, suddenly like labor pains on a woman with child, and they will absolutely not escape, for there will be no way to escape the judgment of the Lord. But you, believers, all you who believe in Christ as Savior and acknowledge Him as God's Son, are not in spiritual darkness, nor held by its power, that the day of judgment would overtake you by surprise like a thief, for you are all sons of light and sons of day. We do not belong to the night and nor to darkness. So then let us not sleep in spiritual indifference as the rest of the world does, but let us keep wide awake, alert and cautious, and let us be sober, self-controlled, calm and wise. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we believers belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope and confident assurance of salvation. For God has not destined us to incur his wrath, that is, he did not select us to condemn us, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died willingly for us, so that whether we are awake, alive, or asleep, dead, at, at Christ's appearing, we will live together with him, sharing eternal life. Therefore, encourage and comfort one another, and build up one another, just as you are doing. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to appreciate those who diligently work among you, recognize, acknowledge, and respect your leaders, who are in charge over you in the Lord, and who you give and who give you instruction and we ask that you appreciate them and hold them in the highest esteem and love because of their work on your behalf live in peace with one another we earnestly urge you believers admonish those who are out of line the undisciplined the unruly the disorderly encourage the timid who lack spiritual courage help the spiritually weak be very patient with everyone always controlling your temper see that no one repays another evil for evil but always seek that which is good for one another and and for all people Rejoice always and delight in your faith by unceasing and persistence in prayer. In every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. Be thankful and continually give thanks to God, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench, subdue, or be unresponsive to the working and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Do not scorn or reject gifts of prophecy or prophecies, spoken revelations, words of instruction, or exhortation or warning. But test all things carefully so that you can recognize what is good. Hold firmly to that which is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Withdraw and keep away from it. Now may God, the God of peace, himself sanctify you through and through, that is, separate you from profane and vulgar things, make you pure and whole and undamaged, consecrated to him, set apart for his purpose, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept complete and be found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfully and absolutely trustworthy is he who is calling you to himself for your salvation, and he will do it. He will fulfill his call by making you holy, guarding you, watching over you, and protecting you as his own. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the believers with a holy kiss as brothers and sisters in God's family. I solemnly charge you by the Lord to have this letter read before all the congregation. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I will never lie or sugarcoat anything for anyone. This is not an easy walk as you are walking against the majority of the world. Everyone who is not faithfully obeying God's and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's commands, laws, ways, words, and truth are working against you. But never fear, be intimidated, or stop walking with God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 1 7. 
For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline, abilities that result in a calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Luke 10, 19. Listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan, and nothing will in any way harm you. I am a living testament to this as many others are around the world who share the truth of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We do this as we are commanded to as well as committed to. Never give up and never give in. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus and no weapons formed against you will ever prosper. Romans 8.18 for I consider, from the standpoint of faith, that the sufferings of the present life are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us and in us. Remember, God, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, Truth, trust, favor, anointing, forgiveness, salvation, strength and endurance, clarity, courage, calm in every situation, and everything good of them. Always be with you, guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.